Now, the Gideon Fumi Paramalem Foundation in Taraba State has now called on traditional religious and opinion leaders to form a common front against ethnic and religious strife in uh, Wukari, Takum, and also uh, Osa local government areas as part of the launch of Project uh, Zamalafia, promoting rec uh, reconciliation for social harmony and uh, development. I've been concerned for promoting peace in Nigeria as a whole. Taraba is one state that should be peaceful. Uh, I think that Taraba should be, used to be one of the most peaceful states in Nigeria. But uh, around 2002, 2003 upwards, things haven't been as peaceful. And I've been deeply concerned in trying to make my own contribution to address the challenge of lack of peace. For these kinds of nuanced crises and conflicts to be fed, we felt something needs to be done, and that's why we came to Taraba. The projects were supported by representatives from various religious and Muslim communities, as well as women's groups uh, who have pledged their commitment to peace building efforts. One of the key things that was mentioned, which actually caught my attention, is the fact that all of us, irrespective of our religions, our ethnic background, we are human beings. All of us are created in the image of God. This singular understanding will help us, will help reduce the kind of crisis, the kind of troubles we have in the land. I have been attending this kind of meeting. With regard to this religious and organized with regard to peace, but this became the best. I am a Muslim. So today is the first day that I heard from the Christian and Ajikon brother telling the main thing that caused the crisis in Wakari. My take home from here is I will go back to the house and preach more about peace. Where we are lacking before, we should move and talk to our children, our youth. Because whenever something happens, the pain is on us, the mothers. So I will go back and tell my fellow women to preach peace to their children. When our children are living peacefully, there will be no crisis. The foundation has established conflict management support groups in three local government areas to provide uh, communities with tools to address conflict and lead peace building initiatives. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.